Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today is going to be a get it all done home refresh style video. So, lots of updates to share with you guys. Um, if you missed my last video where I posted a table makeover, make sure you go check that out because that'll make sense for what you're about to watch. Um, I have two tables in my house right now, two dining room tables and a lot of chairs. So I have been, I've been torn, I don't know. Y'all have to let me know in the comments which table I should keep. Either way though, for now we're gonna be using the table that I just redid um, and I need to redo my old dining room table because the tabletop is in really rough shape. Um, it ha was never really done properly. I was just kind of quick fixing it before we were, thought we were gonna sell our house. So it needs a good sanding, it needs a good refresh. I'm gonna pull that out of the house today, bring in my new to me headboard that I got from a thrift store. Um, I still don't have rails for the footboard, but it's fine. A lot of you guys were like, just bring in the headboard. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, I'll bring it in. So I'll do just the headboard for today. Um, and then, oh, I have a couch coming, which is huge, so exciting. I am working with Cheetah Living in today's video. They are sponsoring, and I am so thankful for that. So I will be sharing my new couch as well. So lots and lots and lots of home updates. Very exciting ones as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get started today. I'm gonna focus on cleaning. I have a lot of cleaning to do. My husband has company coming over tonight, so I want to make sure that the house is you know picked up. And um, I need to do grocery order, all the things. So, got lots to share. So I hope you're ready for today's video. Grab your coffee or put me on your TV. Let's get stuff done together and let's get her done. Okay, so we're gonna start here because obviously having two dining room tables in here is not going to work. It's just way too crowded. But I did attach this top permanently with screws. So I need to run out and grab my drill so I can take the top off so I can carry it outside by myself because with the base on it, it is way, way, way too heavy. Uh, so I'm gonna grab my drill, get this top off, take it outside, and then um, hopefully, I'll work on this in a couple days. I'll start sanding this down. Sanding is the worst. <laughs> it took me like a day to sand just this tabletop down. So I'm, oh, I dread sanding. Maybe I'll <laughs> trick Dylan into help with me. I'm totally joking, by the way. After getting the table and chairs put outside, I went ahead and got some cleaning done. Um, so I'm gonna share a little cleaning motive. motive heh. <laughs> I'm gonna share a little cleaning motivation with you guys. Cleaning up the kitchen. I had to clean the front bathroom. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, my husband had company coming over, but then plans changed. They ended up not coming over. Um, but just because I thought there was company coming, y'all know that like panic clean that you do, because you're like, oh gosh, if someone's coming to the house, then. I gotta like deep clean. So I ended up cleaning the shower <laughs> and then I needed to start laundry and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna share a little of that with you. And then we're gonna move into my bedroom in just a little bit and we're gonna tackle some like rearranging. So speaking of my room, um, in my next video, actually it might be before this video, I don't know. My videos are all messed up right now because of I'm working with a couple sponsors. So I'm a little behind on editing. 
I have been in a, like a struggle bus recently, if I'm being completely transparent. Um, I just, I've had like motivation to get things done, but then I'm like, just kind of like in a little funk and I just, I can't wait for the time change. I'm really hoping that that, you know, really just kind of gives me the boost that I need. The extra daylight during the day is going to be so nice. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't know what it, what's been going on lately. I've just been kind of like, eh, you know, in just one of those moods. All right, so I'm gonna move outside now that I got the bathroom all scrubbed clean, and I'm gonna take the covers off of this patio set, and I'm gonna throw them in the wash. Now, I prefer to pressure wash these. I feel like they just come a lot cleaner, but um, this is an option as well. I just, this is such a pain in the butt, getting all these covers off. They're so hard to get back onto, but um, it did help. I just, the thing is, these cushions are so stained that even though I washed them, they still looked a little dirty. From a distance, you can't tell though. I feel like everything on camera looks so much cleaner, so just keep that in mind. When you're watching these videos, YouTubers, just know that there is a lot that y'all can't see on camera. <laughs> it's so easy to make things look nice because everything just looks so bright and white. In reality, it's not like that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and throw those in the wash, and then I'm going to get my clothesline back up. Um, this is also a rug that I had to wash. It's a washable rug. I'm just, I'm all over the place today, to be honest. This is just how my brain has been the past couple days. Like I said, I've been in like this weird, I have a ton of motivation. I've been getting things done. It's just nothing is going in order. So it's just really thrown me off. <laughs> but um, yeah, so after getting that done, I did have to sort through some laundry. We do the sort method where I sort through everybody's clothes. My husband has a basket, I have a basket, and then each of the kids do. Um, and then they put their clothes away themselves. It has been a game changer to do it this way. Um, if I don't, then I literally have piles and piles of laundry everywhere. We go through, like we literally wear so much clothes. It's unbelievable. Like, I don't know how people keep up. And it's not like we have a whole lot of clothes. Like, we tend to wear the same things over and over again. It's just we wear a lot. <laughs> um, and then, of course, like, when the kids come home from school, typically they change out of their school clothes. Then I get just, like, a double whammy Monday through Friday, it feels like. I don't know. I'm over here complaining about laundry again. What's new? But speaking of laundry, now I'm going to switch some over. These blankets, I'm actually going to hang on the line though because our dryer is literally hanging on by a thread. It works like for just like a regular size load of laundry, but any type of like anything heavy like blankets or sheets, towels, it takes the dryer twice to dry it. So I just prefer to hang those on the line. Number one, it saves me money. And um, I feel like the blankets smell so much better when they've hung out on the line. I'm not going to lie though. Hanging out all of our clothes is a lot of work. It's a lot, a lot of work. And I need a longer clothesline. I have two of these, actually. They're, like, retractable clotheslines. I really love them. Um, I just need them to be a little bit tighter. So my husband's going to have to help me with that. Because sometimes, like, if there's too much, like, heavy blankets, they kind of, like, 
they come close to touching the ground. And also the dogs, mainly Zoe. Zoe's like five dogs in one. She loves the blankets hanging and like she runs through them. <laughs> like she'll just like take off running underneath of them and like knock them over. It's, she's hilarious. Now moving into my bedroom, I'm going to do a little switcheroo in here. I'm going to just rearrange a bit. Um, I say a bit, y'all. I have, How many times have I changed this room around? <laughs> It's kind of annoying, but like in a good way. I love change. It doesn't bother me. I know this type of content really ruffles feathers. So if this is not for you, please just click out because you are about to see this room change so much over the next couple videos because your girl just can't keep anything the same. And I can't figure out this space if I'm being transparent here. I think ultimately it boils down to it just being small and awkward. It's just one of those rooms that are just difficult to style. And I don't know. I... I've never struggled with a space so much in my life <laughs> and this room has just not ever been my favorite and I think it's because it's just overly crowded. It serves as our office, our bedroom, and we have, you know, our, we have a queen size bed, which isn't too big, but for this space, it's kind of big. You know, we just have too much going on and, um, also, let me just say, it also serves as my off or my workout space as well. So I have my treadmill, my weights, and ultimately it's just not functioning well. So the goal over the next couple weeks, month, is to work on my bedroom. I want to slowly but surely get it to the point where I walk in here and I'm just like, yes, this is my room. Like, oh, I'm so proud of it. And it just, it's going to take me a little time because I do work on a tight budget. So I'm, you know, trying to find old and new and mix the two together and keep it affordable while still creating a huge transformation. And it does take time. So um, please bear with me while I work on this space. If y'all have any suggestions, as always, please, please feel free to leave the, those in the comments. I always appreciate it. Um, but just keep in mind, I am working with an awkward layout. So not only is our room on the tighter side, we have the two doors here plus our bedroom door, which is right there to the left. And so the only layout possible for our bed is either under the window or where it is now, and where it is now works because of where the TV is, and our TV is too big for any other wall. <laughs> so right now, this is like the only layout I have, but like I said, if y'all have any suggestions as far as how it's laid out at this moment, start leaving them in the comments right now, please. I always appreciate getting your opinions because then I can I can read those. It kind of gives me inspiration, gives me new ideas. We can work together, get our wheels spinning. It always is so helpful. Under the plum trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun I don't remember much from the night before Just from the human touch, and now I want more My memory slowly coming back Cracks a smile upon my face And then it all turns black Something about tonight And how it's gonna be your last And now my mind is a mess My heart is pounding fast Oh, I wish that you could stay Promise me that you will come back someday So let's make the most of it I remember what you said Up in the ferry's wheel We're kissing in the shades Oh, I wish that you could 
headboard um it's the color more so I think than anything the shape also I feel like it looks so good when it's not in my room <laughs> but in my room it just doesn't fit the space um so back to the drawing board I go um I do like this little layout though where I have like the desk here as like serving as a nightstand and a desk so I think I'm just gonna leave that for now um yeah so that's where I'm at <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch gears for a little bit and kind of just leave the room as is because <laughs> I was kind of stuck, as you could see. Um, the headboard just did not work out, and I know some of you guys are going to be like, why, why not? But um, it's one of those things where I, I need to love it, and I didn't love it, so I'm just going back to the drawing board with the whole headboard situation. I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get the cushions back on these... Um, Cow or wait, get the cushion covers back on the cushions and then set this all up again. By the way, the curtains that I have hanging up, these are not indoor outdoor curtains. I know I'm probably going to get questions on it. Those are just an extra set of curtains I had and I just use clothespins to hook them on the hook that's up, or the line that's up there um, just temporarily just to kind of give us some shade under here. The other curtains I had from Nice Town, those I had for a couple years and they just have gotten rough shape so it was time to take those down and, and toss them. I really need to get new ones but those curtains did hold up really really great so if you're in the market for indoor outdoor curtains the Nice Town brand, brand from Amazon is really good. So at this point, I got the couch all set back up. I got this little table back out of my carport, and I'm just going to clean it really quick. Um, but earlier that day when I went to Walmart, I went to the garden center. <laughs> the garden center always catches my eye. Something in there catches my eye. So I ended up buying this little plant, and I also got a palm tree as well. Um, they were like a really great price, and I thought they were so pretty, and I just needed a little bit more like color and life on the patio for right now. I'm ready for like a little spring refresh. I want to get some like um like throw pillows or something for the couch just to bring some more color but I thought this plant was so pretty so I put that right here on the table and then I'm gonna move back into the house now we're gonna go ahead and get this rug set back up in the living room this is one of those washable rugs that I got from Amazon and I really like it it washes really well um so if it's really great in my washing machine you you kind of just fold it and then you just wrap it around the agitator like you would like a um, a heavy load like with a blanket or something but I don't dry mine I just hang dry it out on the line and it dries super quick it's very thin I personally love this one it has like a grip on the bottom too so it doesn't move around or slip or anything like that but some of these rugs are super duper thin so if you need like a rug pad or anything like that just keep that in mind <laughs> do you like it you do <laughs> All right, so backyard is looking good. I need to get the tag off my plant right there. Thank you, baby. Um, I love you. I love you, buddy. And then I got a new palm tree, which is kind of crooked, so I need to replant that. But good morning. It is couch delivery day. I'm so excited. Um, the couch will be here between 2 to 4. So I have a little time to kill before then. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to run some errands. I have some returns to make to Walmart. Um, and then... I'm going to head to Target. I don't really shop at Target often. Um, actually, I never really shop there, but I I always see their home decor section, and I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to go there and just kind of get some inspiration. I want to look at their bedding um, because I am looking for something textured, and y'all, let me tell you, I have ordered blankets from Amazon. It's so hard to order. Sometimes it's hard to order on Amazon because while it's affordable, you end up buying things and having to return buy things and having to return and i don't know about y'all but that's me all the time because the color online is not the color that you see in person 
and color is everything when it comes to your home decor like if it doesn't flow it doesn't flow and um, I'm looking for specific bedding pieces <laughs> and every time I see a bed that's made up on like Instagram or Pinterest they're like target bedding target 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 so I'm gonna go take a peek see if there's any like good deals um, like I said pull some inspiration I might hit a few other stores while I'm over there but I do want to go to one of the thrift stores that are there because I'm looking for a matching set of nightstands something a little bit more timeless for my bedroom right now I have a nightstand and then I moved the desk and I don't love the setup at first I did and then I was like eh, you know it's a work in progress it always is but yeah that's the plan for today I can't wait for the couch to get here but until then let's go shopping all right so I'm about to head off to Walmart but before we do I wanted to show you guys um this pillow cover that I got. I actually got two of these it was a pack of two I want to say it was like 20 bucks for these but they're big they're for big pillows and this is absolutely stunning and it's double-sided so instead of it being like just plain on one side and then printed on the other, I love double-sided pillows like this because you don't have to put much thought process into throwing them on the bed. It's just like, bloop, you know, and you're good to go. And the colors in this are exactly what I want for my bedroom. So we got some like dark blues in here. We have the burnt orange, beige, the light blue as like a pop of color. It's, this is everything. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm taking this with me today to um, the store so I can use this as a guide for my colors like the beige and stuff that i choose for my bedding and then um i also i'm running by walmart to make a return these are the shorts i bought yesterday i don't like them they like look great on the hanger but um i have tried so many times to order these types of shorts the kind that are like flowy and i think it's just like my shape they're not flattering at all on me it looks very frumpy you know what I mean so I'm returning those and then I I bought Dylan some white t-shirts because he this is he just likes to wear like plain white tees and um I didn't notice until I got home but these are v-neck he was like what the heck is that babe <laughs> I was like oops so um yeah, that's what I'm returning so we're gonna go get that done and then we'll head to Target we're gonna use this pillow as whoopsie I wasn't I'm not the same person I was this morning I guess um <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so we're gonna use this as a guide to get some bedding for my bed. Um, and what's really cool is I think these would actually look stunning on the new couch. So I might order another set of these because this actually matches literally perfect with my dining room rug. What are the chances of that? I don't know, I've just been in like this this mood to change things. Do you ever get like that where it just like, you just wake up one day and you're like, ooh, I wanna change my bedroom, I wanna change the living room, I'm gonna change this. I do that all the time. I just wake up and I'm like, ooh, I crave just something different. All right, so first stop was Target. Um, and as you can see, I hit the jackpot. All of the bedding and stuff that I was looking for happened to be on clearance. And I just felt like it was completely meant to be. So I'm super thankful for that. So I'm just gonna shop around a little bit for bedding and um, show you guys around Target a little bit hit the jackpot. <laughs> Y'all look at this. This is never gonna work. Okay, so that does not work. This works with that. And that in there. So this matches. Oh yeah, okay. Now I just need some color. Let's do the green. This. That's a king, I don't need a king. So my thing is, is this like more so blue or green? I feel like it looks more blue. I kind of want like a pop of color for the spring. Wait, and then why are these only 20? Soft velvet. Oh wait, those are not $20. Mm, it's too much blue. 
Oh my gosh, why is everything on sale? What? Why are these so cheap? Linen blend, 16, what? What? Get king, I need to find the queen. Oh, I kind of like the idea of doing the, this. That's a full. Oh, that kind of works. This on the bed, this at the end. so much beautiful stuff. Oh, I love those. No, really, that's pricey. $40? They're pretty, though. Very, very beautiful. I like the shape of these. Oh, man. There's a classical Studio McGee. Wait, a special brand. Yeah. Oh, look, there's little ones. Those are only $22. Oh, look at the little bunnies. How cute. All right. This is where stuff gets pricey. Those are cute. Ooh, all kinds of pillows. I like that. I can paint something like that though. This is pretty. <gasps> Look how gorgeous. It's so heavy, I don't want to break it. I'm gonna leave it right there. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I hit the jackpot, y'all. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is pretty. It looks so good. perfect color that goes with this. And it looks good with that. It looks good with that. Okay, definitely gonna get that. I'm gonna put this back. It's $25 and I can... I don't know, that's really not bad. This is stunning. $2.50. So after I left Target, I stopped at one of the um, thrift stores that I love to shop at. And it's actually going out of... Um, business, which is crazy to me because I felt like it was like a really great thrift store. Um, but then I sat by Hobby Lobby as well and found some clearance items. And then I went by Target and I found the most perfect nightstands for my bedroom. So I snagged these because every thrift store I went to, they were really overpriced and I felt like it was just cheaper to just to buy them new. I know it's crazy to even say that. So I'm going to go ahead and work on a living room refresh now. We're going to get some uh, cleaning done and we're going to get this old couch out of the way to prepare for the new sofa. So the couch was going to be delivered within the next 30 minutes at this point, but before it got here, I wanted to give a quick overview of what I was working with currently and um, get some cleaning done. So that way when the new couch got in, we could just immediately bring it in and set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle that now. 
is filled with silence We're alone and frightened All we do is lie They throw away our labor Like a piece of paper Gone and won't be found And ooh Cause you were not, you were not, you were not wrong I was able to get the living room cleaned up just in time for the new couch to arrive. And once again, thank you so much to Cheetah Living for sponsoring today's video. If you have never heard of Cheetah Living, they make stylish and comfortable furniture accessible to everyone and options for all different budgets, which is very, very important to me and I know very important to you guys as well. There is also an assortment of modern designs ranging from farmhouse all the way to contemporary. So there is something for everyone and I actually decided to go with a completely different style for my house this time and the sofa I chose is the Sanan Genuine Leather Sofa. This has more of a mid-century modern look to it but I feel like with the deep tuft elements the streamlined look it definitely is a type of sofa that will work for many different styles which is why I chose this specific sofa because y'all know me I can't keep my house the same for too long so I think this is going to be a perfect fit for our home and it's going to complement all the changes along the way. Plus, with it being full genuine leather, that just makes cleaning so much easier. I have two kids and three dogs. Two of our dogs actually like to get on the sofa, so being able to wipe it clean is going to be so much nicer. This sofa also has the adjustable loose back seat cushion, so you can kind of adjust them to either sit straight up or kind of lean back a little bit, making it super duper comfortable. I was actually very impressed. I think initially when I ordered the leather sofa, I expected it to be very stiff, but this is not like that at all. It's actually extremely comfortable and I love how it turned out in the space. I feel like it just took my living room from very like dull and just kind of plain to very bright and just elevated. I love this couch so so much. If you guys are interested in checking out Cheetah Living, I will have their links down below at the top of my description box and you can use code CARRY15 for 15% off the Sanan collection. Like I said, I'll have the links down below and once again, Again, thank you to Cheetah Living for sponsoring today's video. So I did decide to do a little bit of rearranging since this couch isn't as big and bulky as my last couch. It allows me to change the space up a little bit more. So just for the fun of it, I thought we would do a little rearranging and try a different layout. Y'all will have to let me know ultimately which layout you like best. This like how it is now or I'm going to go ahead and start rearranging and I'll show you guys what I came up with. So I moved the couch 
to this point here where it's facing the window. So when you walk in the front door, the couch isn't by the front door anymore. It's like you see the couch. And then right here on this wall, I wanted to add some artwork. So I just went around the house and like borrowed some frames from other areas. I do that a lot. Like if I'm redecorating an area, I just go and steal things from other spaces. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with a little gallery wall here. And don't worry about the plug at the top. I will put the plate cover back on that. Um, we just removed our um, alarm system like I don't, plate, I guess. We're going to put that somewhere else where it's not like such an eyesore when you walk in the door. Um, and that way it's in a better functional space anyway. So we're going to do that. But let me know what you think about the couch being here. I'm not... Like, okay, so Dylan's sold on it. He loves it like this. The kids love it. It's just something, I think it's because it's different. Everyone likes it. But I feel like when I look back at the videos now, I like how it was set up previously. And I think it's because it makes the couch look a little bit darker. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know your thoughts. I'm still pondering what I'm going to do. All right, let's do a quick little tour on the living room now. So first off... Before we move forward, I do want to say I do have the two armchairs coming. I know I already mentioned it, but just in case you missed that clip, just try to envision two matching light-colored armchairs right here facing the couch. I think it's going to create more like of a cohesive space. Right now it looks a little awkward with just the chair, or I'm sorry, the couch just kind of facing the window and not facing the TV. But I think when I have the two armchairs, it's going to make sense. And if you're wondering why I never tried this layout before, don't worry, I did, but my old couch was just too big. It was way too wide and big and bulky, and I could never get it to fit like this. But since this couch is not as heavy, it's a little bit more streamlined, I feel like it fits so much nicer here. And then you still have plenty of walk space. Um, and I love the color. I think it just kind of, I don't know, it just really elevated the space in my opinion. I think it looks really, really pretty. So yeah, and if you're wondering why I didn't scoot the couch back against this wall, first off, the wall is not quite long enough for the couch. It sticks out a little too far, and I cannot cover this door. I have to have this open. This is our HVAC system, so it has to have the airflow. So that is not an option to scoot the couch back. But once the armchairs come in, if I don't like the armchairs here, I can always flip-flop. So put the couch over there and then have the armchairs here. That'll also create more open space you know, down the hallway, but honestly, I think it's fine. Like, you know, I, it's totally fine. It's no different than like just a regular hallway. I'm, I'm really in love with it. I think it looks really nice. Y'all have to let me know what you think though. Also, when I get the armchairs, I will know right away if they're gonna fit with this coffee table or not. So I think when I get the armchairs, I think a round coffee table might work better. It won't be so squared off. However, <laughs> we love this coffee table. So it does lift up into a dining space as well or like a workspace. And I think it's gonna be so nice to like pull this up and be able to work and like face the window and just have like, I don't know, just a different change of scenery. I love it though. I think it looks so pretty. Like my vision is coming to life. At first, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. When I got the couch, I was like, oh boy. How am I going to make this work? Like the color just really wasn't flowing, but I think it was because the rug too. So like I, you can see, I switched out the rug. And so it just works a lot better with the colors I have going on. The other rug was pulling a little bit more to pink and it just was clashing with the couch. But now I think the neutral color, I can even keep the green curtains if I want, but I do have an option to change those out as well. I just, I love my green curtains. I don't want to change them. <laughs> I love the green. I think it's so pretty, especially because it like matches the um, dining room as well. But yeah, that's the space. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you love the couch and you want to get one for yourself, don't forget to check out Cheetah Living. I'll have the links down below. Um, I think it turned out really nice and I we are obsessed with the leather couch. It's been great. We could just wipe it clean. The dogs have already jumped up there. We don't have to worry about it getting like all stinky and having to constantly shampoo it. You literally just wipe it clean and you're good to go. So that is just awesome. 
All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, I will have a new video coming out pretty soon where I will be sharing the armchairs and more of my bedroom refresh. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye, y'all.